I wonder if Ethiopia is going to take advantage of the weakness of the Mamluks and try to expand north. Yeah. Oh my god, what's happening in Ethiopia? A lot of rebels. Oh, he's, he's converting. He's converting into Sunni, oh, I think. He's converting yeah. to Sunni from Coptic. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's boring. I, I get why he's doing I, it. I yeah, I, I get it too. It's just like, oh, I was really hoping to see a big old Coptic yeah. blob on the map for a while. But I mean, otherwise, I would go, I would go Hindu. Like, you could have just tried and forced the Hindu religion instead. Oh, well. I, I get it. I was just hoping for cop to stick around. If he goes to Ibad, he can raid everyone on the planet. That's very true. Well, that's a good point. Jeru Jerusalem should go Ibad. That would be so cool. Yeah, because then and everything in disgusting. the Mediterranean would be viable. Yeah. Everyone would be fair game. I like that a lot. I, would be I don't averse. think that's going to happen, but I would love to see it. I if a Jerusalem player is watching, please go with body. I mean, we you have, already wait, have the cells. Wait, wait, Why is Crimea back? What? Crimea is a player again. Oh, it might, it might be something where uh, the AI was broken or something and wouldn't peace out. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I actually had that exact same happening thing happen in the Emperor uh, multiplayer we did is against Crimea. The AI yeah. broke on Crimea and wouldn't accept a peace right. offer. So, yeah, yeah. So what has happened is the host has marked uh, the AI to be brain dead. When they left, when they left the game, the whoever's the host just click it. All right, make them brain dead. And then the AI, there's no AI. There's no actual AI to make any decisions. So that's why. So someone had to jump in, fix that, yeah. and then peace out. Well, con considering we're all on a land, it only took a second. Yeah. Oh, look at that Lithuania. Woof. It's all siege down. Beautiful. I think we might lose leaving. Polish Crimea, too. Ooh, um, what ended up happening oh, with uh, England? Because yes. that looks like that war ended. Uh, France None? got... The continental possessions all yeah, went away. Yeah, yeah. yeah, almost. There's some well, parts yeah, left here. Yeah, the coastal here. ones. Did England inherit the bun win and take stuff from Burgundy? Because they're very far inland. Ireland's got all of Ireland now. They kicked the yeah. English out of there. Yeah. And all of Scotland. It's good to yeah. see. What's happening to Poland? Poland and Lithuania are getting partitioned by Livonian Order and Ryzon. Yep. And, and oh, that is a, yeah, that's a lot of rebels. A lot of rebels. And Hungary is also being ravaged by noble rebels. And and Bohemia is getting absolutely smashed by Prussia. Yeah. This Prussia, I wonder, like, are they going to leave the entire coast? Because they might have a deal with Norway where Norway gets the coast. Which would leave them without Lübeck. But maybe they're willing to sacrifice that. You, I, I'll take all of the continent and you get all of the trade. Mm -hmm. uh, where do we have? There we have you. So the, she said they were prepping. So the question is, it seems like he's coming to make a declaration. So I'm wondering if they're preparing something. They're not drilling. What are they? They're building a lot of something right now. What's getting built everywhere? Uh, that is barracks. Bar yeah, they're just building barracks everywhere. Okay. So they are they're obviously to... prepping for some, and you have. Switzerland is conquering into Austria. So what I'm feeling is, I mean, the Austrian war is a couple of, a little bit off, like it's two more years. Mm -hmm. uh, but I mean, they could be preparing a war. Yeah, they have a claim on uh, Istra and this is a fabricated claim as well. So if they, that, that would be a, a nice juicy player war. Yeah. Well, someone is asking for dev map mode. I mean, I, I I think that did pop out to me. Milan was 500 development. So in this little space, they have managed to get 500 development, which is pretty damn amazing. Uh, here, like they're almost like on par with Castile. So I'm actually kind of curious, like what have they spec'd? What have they done? I mean, they have plutocratic and economic, they go on quality. Uh, if they would have gone quantity first, they would have been able to take the policy for uh, deving as well, which would have fit really well. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, they want Republican tradition, but and we can't see it now, 
but I guess they're more worried they're gonna be ha uh, be having to fight a lot of big wars, so they're taking the quality for the troops and for the uh, policy. Yeah, they're gonna go. They're kind of gonna to blows with other players pretty soon, it seems. Mm. But who does have the biggest amount of dev? Oh, a... Constantinople has less dev than Karaman's uh, capital. On the other that side, is... it looks like Cairo is pretty bright right now. Oh. Oh, it is. Oh, but it's, oh, what, 49? The Mamluks devved it up to 49? Jeez. I hope Jerusalem moves to capital. Yeah, really. <laughs> it's way better than anything they got. Yeah. There's six. But yeah, I, I'm sort of impressed here. Karaman's capital, like, you know, so you have this dark, basically, um, what's it called? Uh, district that is just like sh uh, shacks and stuff. What's that called in English? Sorry, what? <laughs> anyway, like, you know, dystopian nightmare uh, city, Constantinople, and then you have the bright, colorful city of, uh, how do I pronounce it? Coachelli? You're Co calling Constantinople a slum? Yeah, yeah, slum. I'm calling it a slum. Y just look at the dev. It's 24 versus 32. Look at the color. Oh man. The slum of Constantinople versus <laughs> Ismat. I don't remember what the city here is called. Oh uh, man. Yeah, Ismit, Ismit. Head back over to the Adriatic. Mm hmm Oh. What is what what happened here? Did it just get released? Yeah. Oh. I'm wait, wondering if wait. Byzantium threw it away to yeah. avoid conflict. They must have, like, released core on it. Let's see if there is a treaty now. The liber Oh, yep, yeah, there are some. Nice leader on the on Dalmatia there, too. 663. Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking the liberation of Riasan and destruction of the Tatars. Mm. Uh... Chat's saying it's, it's an orthodox province, hint, hint. Oh, it is. It yeah. is. But like, hmm. it, there's no player there, though, as far as I know. Oh, Milan is right there. We have Gujarat's new clothes, pact against Byzantine aggression, 1520 to 1570. Was posted 10 minutes ago. So, Karaman, Jerusalem, Milan, and the Pope have signed an alliance against Byzantium. Ooh, oh, they're dead. Yeah. Well, Byzantium's gonna get, as is tradition, is gonna get wiped off the map, it seems. That, that's that's, Unless that's, that's a little allies. sad. I mean, Riasan was calling himself the Sword of the Orthodox. Sword of the Orthodox Faith. Yeah, so... And that's what Byzantium was calling, it was referring to himself as Defender of the Faith for a very long time. Yeah, but I mean, then as well, like, you know, I see also Karaman probably use Constantinople as suburbs for his, uh, his capital at Tur this you, point. You mean turn the ghetto of, uh, yeah. of, of Constantinople into a suburb? Yeah. And... That would be nice to see, um, yeah. I mean, I, I, I always, you don't want to see Byzantium die. You always want to see a nice Byzantium on the map, but if Karaman crossed over to Constantinople, I wouldn't be upset. Yeah, no. We have the Byzantines here now. Hello, hello. 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 hello there hello. we go. <laughs> so, um, tell us how you feel. Well, we do not feel really good to be fair. <laughs> right now, as you already saw, Karaman betrayed us. Um, although our original plans was to, were to go to Italy and go to Rome, get Rome, and it would be amazing if we managed to pull this off. And we were thinking of even making it an orthodox HRE kind of thing. And we would put uh, Switzerland and everyone else who is orthodox in it. But since uh, Karaman decided to betray us, and uh, yeah, and the Knights as well, we are in a pretty tight spot. And we just <laughs> wanted to, to, to say one last uh, goodbye, I guess it was fun. <laughs> we promised to the viewers that we will try to pull off a good fight at least. We are not just going to surrender. That, that's all I have to, to so, say right now. Quick question. And, what what yeah. happened with Istria, the one province up in the uh, Adriatic <laughs> there? Yeah. 
Well, <laughs> that was one way for, for Milan to uh, declare war at us. And we just didn't want them to, to, to declare war from there. I mean, it's just desperation from, a, from this point. We were just like, it doesn't even matter. Let's just keep it for fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then it's from Dalmatia. <laughs> it's, mm -hmm. yeah, we, we're in a pretty tight spot. But yeah, uh, we thank everyone who supported us and we promise uh, that we will do our best to, to at least uh, pull off a great fight. That's, that's Go down that's fighting. It. Yes, yes. Oh, well, I feel, I feel so bad for Bazir. Yeah. That was the voice of a defeated man. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh okay. No. All right, let's see what the Pontifex has to say. Yeah, the Papal Emissary is here, I think. Ave! Oh! Blessings, and thank you we... for uh, we have Pope? the audience. Hello, hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, I can hear him, Benjamin, if you can't. No! Yeah, okay, okay Groogie, take over. <laughs> yeah, hello, yeah. So, we have heard from a lot of birds that you are uh, part of a pact against the heretics in Constantinople. Yes, now that the false pope, or no, false patriarch, has put forth his de death prayer, we would like to announce something too. Mm -hmm. Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord, but those who act faithfully are his delight. The false patriarch in Byzantium has spread lies and hate among all faiths. The crusade was a hoax to defamate us, but who sent his troops to Palestine? The papacy with all their true heart and will. While Byzantium tried to conquer our very own territory in Naples and Istria, but the false patriarchy also failed his own allies. The great nations shall soon bring an end to his baffling mouse. Amen. Amen. <laughs> oh, that's great. So, uh, though, I have a question. What do you get out of it? Do you only get Naples? Or do you have plans for, like, more land from Greece or something like that? For our humble hearts, only Naples is in the part of the deal. All right. That is but... very humble of you. Yeah, we are very humble indeed, and we seek not to anger our allies, as we have always stayed true to them. And I do want to say thank you to Milan, especially, for always being our ally in our strongest uh, or in our darkest times, as there was a far bigger looming threat to us. But thanks to the new pact, this has changed. So. I am sorry to disappoint you, but I don't think there will be a big Catholic Orthodox war. Uh, thank you, Pope Palpatine, as someone in chat. <laughs> and thank you too. Then, Amen and goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. I've taken over the stream. Uh, don't worry. Uh, Benjamin and Grugi are still here. But in the meantime, while we wait for everything to be set up, uh, we thought it would be interesting to drag in Benji from uh, the Parsec team. Uh, the act hey, you know, really? actually working on Parsec. The way our game has been set up is that we have, I think, up to 24 uh, computers here in our office in Stockholm. They are all, uh, you know, connected in, in a LAN. Uh, and uh, it's on those computers that we play this year's edition of Grandis LAN. Every team, of course, we're uh, in Grandis LAN, you're playing in a team of three, control one of those computers over Parsec. Do you mind talking a bit about how how Parsec came to be, the Weiss and the house and all of that? Yeah, absolutely. It's First off, it's really exciting that studios like Paradox are using it for um, broadcasts like this. You know, we were also doing some of the ESL premiership in, in uh, Europe, as well as helping power some of the Call of Duty and Overwatch League uh, events. Similarly, where the observers uh, like you guys are logging in and watching what's happening, controlling, commenting, and all of that. So one use case for Parsec is, is this powering the broadcast remotely. But when we first came to start working on Parsec, uh, it was much less grand ambitions. It was more, we just wanted to make it so that people could 
access their gaming PC from anywhere. So at the core of it, Parsec is a really low latency streaming technology that's interactive. It's somewhat similar to the technology that's powering things like uh, Google Stadia and Amazon's Luna the cloud, and, and Xbox X Cloud. So the, the stream is 60 FPS, really low latency, interactive, can go up to 4K, and you can use it to connect to your computer at home uh, when you're anywhere in the world, or you can use it to connect to a friend. And as, as we said at the start, uh, Grand Islan is uh, thankfully uh, being powered by Parsec because I'm not sure we could have done it without you guys. So uh, thank you so much right. for that. Benji Grugi, uh, take it away. Me and Benji are going to leave you to it. Uh, thanks so thank much. Thank you for community. We appreciate it. It was nice <laughs> to get involved. Thank you. <laughs> thank, thank once you. again, thank you so much. Uh, and let's get back to the Grand Islan. Yeah. Oh. There's something going down right now. Yeah, uh, and we're seeing... The last oh, stand of the legions. Yeah, last stand of the legions in the battle in the mountains of Epirus. Uh, they didn't have enough time to uh, get any... They're just get, now now they're just going to get stack wiped to Corfu. Yeah, but uh, it's another thing I was looking at. Milan was sitting here waiting super long. Uh, before, mm -hmm. like, up in the north in Italy. Uh, so I was thinking, are they, because Serbia didn't join, and probably uh, Milan mostly wanted something out of Serbia, uh, because he had a lot of, like, uh, spy network there as well, so he could just make two claims if he needed to, but it, because I think he made a deal, because uh, Serbia is allied with Karaman and Riasan, so he probably made a deal where Milan gets some pieces out of Byzantium because I don't think Milan had any troops here when this got uh, flipped. I'm pretty sure that was a sign to him, like that someone gave it over to him. Mm -hmm. Well, so the last I... partition of the, Bi the Byzantines is going down. Yeah. Yeah, so otherwise, oh, oh and uh, we, we do have Russia. We got, we got Russia with a bad typeface. Oh, uh, that is, uh, I mean, they deserve that. They deserve that after this border. After board what they they've making. done to the map. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but yeah, so that's I don't think the there's same. much that's going to happen. Here. Uh, I don't know if you just noticed it, but Switzerland tag switch. Oh, Swabia. That is pretty nice. That's a, do that, they... that, that, that. That's an that's an interesting salmon color donation right mm. there. I think it's beautiful. Uh, I think uh, yeah. So they're keeping Swiss ideas. What do Swabia get otherwise? Do they just do it because it's a nice color? I'm guessing that. But yeah, and they uh, are expanding like normally, going through Baden. Uh, just gobbling up and trying to get everything consolidated. I mean, I think Switzerland is going to be one of the bigger players, isn't it? I mean, you have Milan, uh, Ethiopia, Russia, and Swabia. Mm -hmm. it, there you go. Chat's saying their mission tree is pretty good. It does make sense that it, it was recently ah. added, so their missions probably would be better. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, that, yeah that's a full tree. Rex Italia at German. Uh, what does it give? Yellow Prestige. This is. Oh! Oh, it wants you to conquer Italy. <laughs> well, that'll be interesting. Yeah. I mean, didn't Milan say they were worried about Serbia and yeah, they Swabia? Did. They, they, they were saying that, that the, the Orthodox faith kind of encroaching around them was becoming mm. problematic. Yeah. But I mean, so here's the thing, right? Now, Swabia and Serbia are friends, but mm. Serbia just lost one of their most important friends, Byzantium. So I think... Was Byzantium really one of their most important friends? After, once Byzantium got to its current size, they basically stopped being useful to... That's true. That's Serbia. True. So then it was more of a dead weight. I'm sorry to say that. No. But yeah. At least they went down fighting. It's admirable. Mm-hmm. Oh, what's uh, happening Bizant to Karaman, though? Ah, uh, Mamluks is helping them. Oh! There's, so they the, uh, there's a lot of things going on right now. So they actually got Mamluks to join oh. them, which is pretty damn good. But Mamluks are not at all fast enough, and they're capping out on their dip points. 
They're gonna get uh, bankruptcy. We're on Byzantium right now, so I don't yeah. think that matters. Yeah, no. No, that's why I was looking at that. But like, what they yeah. could have done in order to last a lot longer, to hope that Mamluks would be able to punch down uh, Karaman, probably not the entire alliance, but make it a lot harder, is that he would just uh, take all of the loans he can immediately at the start, so he can just sit and eat money and wait, because he's gonna die anyway. So he might as well mm. just burn everything and hope, like a last ditch effort to in hope of something happening. Ireland, let's go. Oh, we have an Ireland. Ireland. Beautiful. Slightly better color, I would say, yeah. than Munster. Uh, and we'll see. Oh, no, I'm still on the wrong country. We have Irish ideas. Now they're I think going Munster expansion. had its own idea set. So we're going exploration and expansion. So the Irish are going to try to go heavy colonial. Mm hmm. And they are now in Delaware? No. Okay, no, that was someone else. Okay, so they're co co still colonizing Massachusetts. Still oh, not done. Slow. Oh, 55 it... a year. Ooh, that's real yeah. slow. Who's pausing? Uh, and we have here... We have Colombia. Uh, oh, it hasn't formed yet. It's not yet ripe to become its own nation. Uncon Surrender. Yeah, I've seen the chat for Byzantium because they're basically dead. Theodoro outlived Byzantium. Well, they died and then they were reborn, so... Yeah, so they they're did. they're the actual purple phoenix. Mm -hmm. I'm very interested to see what this partition is going to look like. Mm -hmm. Okay, they press play. I mean, did they actually unconditionally surrender? Oh, yeah, they did. There it is. So, what are they actually... Th why Why are they taking their time? I mean, they can take quite a lot, right? There we go. No, they only took for Karaman. Uh, Interesting. Uh, no, I spy, I spy my with my little eye a little piece for Milan. Actually, it wasn't nearly as punishing as I expected. No. I mean, they can they can bounce back from. I mean, sure. Well, it was a slum, though. This Constantinople is a slum, but <laughs> what otherwise, it, it wasn't it's that just Constantinople. Bad. Yeah. It's garbage anyway. Yeah, I mean, it is garbage compared to the glory of Ismit. So, like, there is a chance for them to bounce back from this. They need allies, though. They're gonna yeah. need. They're they're gonna need to hard convince someone to join them. Exactly. Uh, Still no Netherlands. Nope. Wait, yeah, they should be able to form it. Or are they, are they just constantly at war? They have unclicked it, though. They're not... Are they not forming the Netherlands? Yeah. Gurgi, shouldn't you know this? I mean, I don't know what they're doing. But uh, they need to be at peace. That's the only thing they're missing. Forming Netherlands makes you leave the HRE. Yeah, but I don't see the reason why say, you does, would stay does in the Does the HRE matter at this point? It's yeah. a defunct I mean, it's a defunct entity. This... Tlemcen's getting Tlemcen again. Oh. Oh, that's God, every time we look down there, they're half siege down. They keep pulling it out though. Uh, you're moving! <laughs> I'm not touching it. My hands are off. Okay, so, someone else is moving. <laughs> someone else is in here. It's not me. Like, is this their They're war? just going for Morocco now. Yeah. They should I be guess... able to win this. I don't see it being too big of a I guess issue. they're just ignoring them sieging here and, like, Tunisian separatists resetting the separatism timer there. They just want to keep expanding. Doesn't matter if all their low, de le low dev land just burns to the ground over yeah, and over and over no. again. I mean, they almost got their capital, right? Uh, where is it? Yeah, there. Didn't they take exploration? They did, didn't they? Did they do anything with that yet? Yeah, they Defensive still have exploration. Explor they, they, oh, they definitely they, should have they, they haven't, Portugal has started expanding. They haven't finished the. They haven't even finished the idea group, and they've gotten to the next one. That's rough. Yeah. I don't see them anywhere. We haven't been out there, in but a bit. we do have Massachusetts is starting to become a thing. Beautiful. So yeah, that's nice. Uh, anyway, so let's have a look. 
So here we have Ethiopia, and they... Uh, I mean, they haven't... I wonder if they're allied with Kilva. We should also have a look at what Kilva has been doing. No, they're not allied. But they are allied with Gujarat. Uh, so Gujarat has been expanding into Sindh. Ethiopia bopped up the coast and took the one province bordering Gujarat. <laughs> Blocked their expansion. Oh, it looks there! Like. Oh, that—that that is um, Gujarat. Like I wouldn't, I don't care about. That's like, purposeful. It was yeah. deliberate. Why? I wouldn't be. I wouldn't trust the Ethiopians if they did that. Especially if they said, "Oh, they're only gonna take Coromandel," and then they do that because I'm pretty sure that's in a different node. Yeah, it's in Gujarat node, and it's a center of trade. Yeah, I would have gone. That is unacceptable. I just Gujarat. I don't think Gujarat has the strength to say that's unacceptable. Yeah, I I did see that. Athe well, I mean, Gujarat can ally Kilva, uh, but Gujarat is allied with Delhi. Uh, but so was uh, Ethiopia as well. So, but otherwise, if Gujarat and Delhi and Kilva attacked Ethiopia, like Ethiopia would be done for. That that, uh, that that means the Kilwa has to get completely on board because Kilwa is going to be the one taking the brunt of that fight. So, so Kilwa is going straight into South Africa, just colonizing everything he's touching. Yeah, and he's also he just discovered uh, the, uh, this is Sumatra. Yeah, Sumatra. Like Sumatra is right here, so he's probably also considering like colonizing here. But like Kilwa could defeat Ethiopia alone right now, uh, I think. And the thing here becomes just like the only problem is that Ethiopia is allied with Delhi, but otherwise Gujarat and Kilwa together would defeat Ethiopia like nothing. Hello, my fellow hosts. Hello. Oh, Josh. I'm here to oh, uh, to relieve you of your duties. Um, oh, oh you've been that you've been you've been presiding over madness, Ben. I've been I've been watching along. What 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 have you what have you overseen to poor Byzantium? I want, I want an, an answer on the. Uh, well, this, we didn't have anything to do with that. Byzantium got himself stuck happened. in a corner and got uh, hug boxed by the other players. Well, that is um, a tragedy that is before them. The question is, is can been, Byzantium uh, talk their way out of the corner? Because the only, the only way for them to survive is to negotiate alliances. Yeah. Yes. But they sounded defeated. It's not, when they came in for interview, they sounded like they were already defeated. Mm -hmm. that, uh, that that displeases me. Chat how says are um, just formed? How are our colonial enterprises going? Brittany was was was. Oh, going they is doing great. Uh, they have uh, formed Kais Kais America. I don't know how oh, yes. I pronounce that. And they have Antilles, but I'm surprised they haven't gone for uh, the Mesoamericans. They have they are within range for them to attack and conquer. Yes, they are. You're right. Interesting. Anything else that's, that's uh, particularly notable? Netherlands oh. is formed. Swabia, uh, Switzerland went Swabia. Yeah. Livonian order went Russia, and has not cleaned up the border gore yet. Nope. Yeah, we need to. Have I mean, they've done a little bit Russia. of work. Yeah. We got Prussia. Uh, yeah, Prussia and Riasan is probably gonna form Ruthenia. Oh yes. A lot of tag switching going on now. Yeah. Okay, well, I see, I see Prussia as well, hiding on, hiding in the Sa HR yeah, Saxony either. went Prussia. Oh. Okay, well, I'm gonna go and uh, switch to my my live channel. So you two, you two, uh, say your goodbyes and chat. I will see you very shortly. Well, yeah. goodbye, everyone. I think goodbye. that's that's it for us for the day. Josh will take over for the rest. And I think I'll be back just for a little debrief right at the end. But it's been amazing. This has been a lot of fun. Yeah. Did you all do? Bye. Look at those casualties. Oh my lords. Mm -hmm.